Welcome to the Getting Started video series for JSA Series Appliances. This video introduces you to the JSA 5800. The components of the JSA 5800 front panel are front bezel, lock, power button, hard disk drives, reset button, and chassis LEDs. Let's discuss each component briefly, starting with the front bezel. The front bezel protects the appliance. The lock is used to lock the appliance. You can power on or power off the appliance using the power button. Eight hard disk drives of 900 gigabytes each are available on the JSA 5800 front panel. You can view the hard drives by unscrewing and removing the front bezel. The hard drive slots are numbered from 0 to 7. Drive 8 to drive 15 are empty slots. The reset button reboots the appliance. In the chassis, if the power LED is solid green, this indicates that the appliance is powered on and is receiving power. If the LAN 2 LED is blinking, this indicates data share interface activity. If the alert or power fail LED is red, this indicates a power failure. If the alert or power fail LED is amber, this indicates that the appliance is operating normally. The LED might also glow amber if a rescue configuration is not set. This is not a panic condition. The hard disk drive LED is unused. If the LAN 1 LED is blinking, this indicates management interface activity. If the information LED is blinking red, this indicates a fan failure. If the information LED is solid red, this indicates an overheat condition, which might be caused by cables obstructing the airflow in the system or the ambient room temperature being too warm. If the information LED is blinking slow red, this indicates a power failure. If the information LED is solid blue, this indicates that the UID function is activated. Let's now consider the back panel of the JSA 5800. The back panel components of the JSA 5800 are power supply slots, dedicated IPMI LAN port, gigabit ports, 10 gigabit plus SFP ports, VGA port, USB ports, and a COM port. Let's discuss each component briefly, starting with the power supply slots. The power supply slots provide power to all components in the appliance. One dedicated IPMI LAN port is available for LAN connectivity. Four RJ45 Gigabit Ethernet LAN ports are available for Ethernet connectivity. Two LEDs are available for each Ethernet port to display the functionality of the corresponding ports. If the left LED of the Ethernet port is green, this indicates that the speed of the connection is 100 megabits per second. If the LED is amber, this indicates that the speed of the connection is 1 gigabit per second. If the LED is off, this indicates no connection or the speed of the connection is 10 megabits per second. If the right LED of the Ethernet port is green, this state indicates an activity. You can choose any gigabit port as the management port. Two SFP plus 10 gigabit Ethernet LAN ports are available for LAN connectivity. The top Ethernet port is Ethernet Interface 0, and the bottom Ethernet port is Ethernet Interface 1. One VGA port is available for VGA connectivity. This port is not supported. Four USB 2.0 ports are available for connecting a USB storage device, and one DB9 COM port is available for connecting the console port. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to read more about using JSA, please visit our technical documentation page.